arterial supply to the bladder has been uh, mainly from the superior vesicle artery. Can you see over here, this is the internal iliac artery. And as I have mentioned earlier, that the internal iliac artery is the blood supply, the source, main source of blood supply to this region. That is known as the pelvic region. And bladder is one of the pelvic organs. So internal iliac artery gives off a branch, which is like a, 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 a part of it, the upper part of it is the umbilical ligament, and the other part, the, the lower part, which is close to the bladder in both sexes, is, this, is known as the superior vesicle artery. Okay, so the superior vesicle artery is going to supply blood to the, to the bladder in females as well as in males. And also here, one of the branches from the internal iliac, which is not visible, of course, in this model, but we have to, uh, to imagine that there is a branch which is known as obturator artery. So the obturator artery will also give few branches or twigs to the bladder. Okay, in both sexes. Now, well, in male, the hair in front of me is, or like I'm holding a male uh, hemisection through the pelvis. So, the in case of male, there is an artery again, a branch from the internal iliac, which is known as the inferior vesicle artery. That will also supply the lower part, the base of the bladder, the lateral walls of the bladder, the neck of the bladder will be receiving blood supply through the in inferior vesicle artery, which is present in the males. Uh, I, I'm holding a section through the female pelvis and it's showing you the bladder. And I was talking about the blood supply, the other source of blood supply or arterial supply to the bladder in female is the uterine artery and the vaginal artery branches from the uterine and vaginal artery will be supplying the base of the bladder as well as the inferior lateral walls. While in, in males, as we have discussed, uh, it's mainly by the inferior vesicle artery. Okay, now um, as far as the venous drainage is concerned, in the females, uh, the, the vesical plexus, which is usually located at the base of the bladder all around, is, is drained its blood into either through the vaginal plexus into the internal iliac or directly into the internal iliac uh, vein. All right? No, this is visible. Okay. While in males, you can see over here, uh, there is a gland that is prostate. So there is a prostatic plexus of veins. So the vesicle plexus in males will be draining into the prostatic plexus and through the prostatic plexus of vein, it would be ultimately reaching the internal iliac vein. So there is a little bit of difference because of the presence of different structures in both sexes. The venous drainage is different. The prostatic plexus, via prostatic plexus in males, via vaginal plexus or directly into the internal iliac plexus in females. Okay.